So explain to me again why Roscoe, the borderline alcoholic dog, is suddenly an expert in ghosts. I'm offended by your unabashed use of the word borderline. Dogs can detect ghosts. It's like a sixth sense or something. Yeah, that sixth sense is commonly known as eyeballs. There he is. What's up, dog? What? Oh my god, he's coming after you! Oh, <laughs> you guys totally crapped your pants. Roscoe! Don't do that! <laughs> that was hilarious, dog. <laughs> Thanks, brother. What, are you two chatting? Look, why don't you get the ghost out of our house instead of making friends with it? I apologize. We will get the process started. What's the process? Well, normally it's a sacrificial virgin, but you two spinners are far from qualified, so... I know, especially that one. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Roscoe, if you don't stop being buddy-buddy with the ghost, I am going to swatch you with a newspaper. Are you trying to give me a boner, Angie? Because it would be embarrassing to spring wood in front of this dude. Roscoe! Sorry. What would you like to say to him? <sighs> well, why is he in our house? Ghosty? Well, let's see. Um, I'm invisible. I can walk through walls. Hot naked chicks. That is awesome! <laughs> I know. What did it say? Oh, um, he's having a little emotional trouble crossing over, so... Well, what can we do to help him cross? You know what, Angie? You've done enough just by caring. He's on his way right now. Goodbye, noble spirit. Be well in the afterworld. Nice, dude. Thanks. He's gone? Yes, he is. You know what? I'm gonna just curl up here. Why don't you two have a pillow fight or something? That's a good idea, I guess. Yeah, man, it is hot in here. You two ought to take your clothes off. In front of you? Angie, I'm a dog. You can't take your clothes off in front of a dog. That's kind of silly, don't you think? Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Hmm. <laughs> He's Roscoe the Party Dog.